Hello everyone! This is Polish Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. Today we are going to show you a very useful technique – how to edge the slits in the skirts or dresses. We are going to make a mock-up. These are the two pieces of fabric we'll be working with. Imagine this is the back of the skirt. First we need to measure and mark 20 cm. This is how long the slit is going to be. Make a tiny notch here. Next we need to double the edges with the interfacing material. These pieces are 1.5 cm wide and 22 cm long. They were cut on the grain as well. You can make the details a bit wider. The most important thing is that the interfacing material should be cut on the grain. Natalie is attaching the interfacing material to the edge. This is the technique we usually use when making dresses and skirts with the slits. Next, we are going to edge the details with the novel locker. Natalie is stitching the details with the novel locker. Do it after attaching the interfacing material. This is very important. Let's go to the sewing machine. Natalie is teaching the center back seam. The width of the seam is 1.5 cm. Stop stitching when you reach the pin, which marks the beginning of the slit. Fix the seam here. Let's go to the ironing desk. We need to press the seam open. When we do it, we'll show you what to do next. The center back seam should be pressed open. I remind you that before pressing the seams open, you need to iron them. Have a look here. You can tack the slit for ironing if you need to. We are not going to do it. It will be enough for us to pin the edges this way. As I've already said, you can tack the details if you need to. The seams should be of the same width. Natalie has pressed the seam open. What do we need to do next? We are going to use a gross grain ribbon for doubling the seam. You can use some other material. Don't worry, we are going to show you how to do it very thoroughly. It is going to be attached this way. You should use the detail of the same color as the main fabric is. We are working with a white one for you to see everything clearly. Be very attentive. First, we need to decadize the details we are working with. Natalie, let's go to the sewing machine. Have a look at the wrong side of the slit. Mark its beginning with a piece of chalk. Put the gross grain ribbon right on the line and stitch it. Make sure that the seam matches the first one perfectly. This is very important. They have to be even. This is how the seam looks like here. And this is how it looks like from the other side. Next, we need to cut the extra piece of the gross green ribbon. 
After that, we need to cover the seam with the cross grain ribbon and make a couple of seams here. Make sure that you cover the seam tight. This is very important. We've pinned the detail. And next we need to make two tiny seams here in order to fix it. Be very attentive. Stop stitching when you reach the center back seam. This seam should be pretty short. As I've already said, stop stitching when you reach the center back seam. Have a look here. This is how the seams look like now. Notice that Natalie stopped stitching before she reached the center back seam. Next we need to do the same thing on the other side. Cover this edge with a cross green ribbon. The detail should be tight. We want this edge to be perfect as well. This is why first we need to cut the extra piece from the detail. Make sure that you don't cut too much. This is very important. The detail will be stitched this way. Have a look here. We've covered the second edge with a cross grain ribbon and pinned it. We've also cut the extra piece of the detail. Next, we are going to stitch it. There's something I want to tell you. We are working with a cross grain ribbon. It's cotton. If the one you're working with is synthetic, you do not necessarily have to stitch it this way. We are doing it in order to hide the edge inside. You can cut the extra piece after stitching and cinch the edge with a lighter. First, we need to stitch the detail this way. Make sure that you are stitching it at least close to the center back seam. The width of the seam should be about 1 mm. Be very attentive. Have a look here. Do you remember the way we stitched the first edge? In this case, the seam was made close to the center back seam. Next, we're going to make two more of such seams here. I remind you that the seam should be tiny. The seams are pretty short. Stop stitching when you reach the center back seam. If you stitch further, the seam will be seen on the right side. Please, be very accurate and attentive. Make sure that all of the seams you make, both the vertical and horizontal ones, are not seen on the right side. The technique is pretty complicated, but it's very useful. This detail won't let the slit be damaged easily. This is how the stitch detail looks like now. If the cross grain ribbon was of the same color as the fabric, the seams wouldn't be even seen. We use the detail of the bright color for you to see everything clearly. You can also make different decorative seams here, triangular ones for example. Use your imagination. The most important thing is that the beginning of the slit was made stronger. Next, we need to iron the stitch detail. Very nice. This is how the slit looks like now.
Вот он такой красивый. You already know how to stitch the lining and how to edge the bottom. Natalie, would you mind if I fold it? This is the part which was made stronger. It will allow you getting in and out of the car or walking the stairs without any problems. This is a very useful technique. We haven't showed it to you before. We don't want you to break the slits in your dresses and skirts. That's all for today. Next time we are going to show you the second way for making the slits stronger. Be different and beautiful. We are Ira and Natalie. Subscribe to this channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and the bell buttons. We would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.